Processes cause sockets. Technical terms, but we need to be aware of them if we're managing assets in our environment. Uh, it's relevant for hardware asset management and it's relevant for power-based licensing. Uh, we need to know the terms. Um, so I'm sure you've all seen at some point in your life, you've seen a motherboard, which is the green, looks like card inside a computing device. Uh, it might be a mobile phone, might be a large computer. Uh, this is the motherboard in which all of the, the um, components of the computer are stuck in. You then have the processor. So you have a, a microchip. It looks like a, um, a squished black spider. And it's, it's physically stuck into the motherboard. And what, what computing allows you to do with this chip as well is actually multitask. So rather than, the, this is like the processing power, the brain of the computer. And rather than it being all consumed with one particular task, it can multitask. So you can have two brains within that one physical chip. What does all this mean? Well, this physical connection to the motherboard is called a socket. You could have multiple sockets, you could have multiple chips in the motherboard, especially for big servers. Uh, this is the processor, and then these two um, multitasking elements, these two uh, ability to execute two different things at once, are called cores. So in this instance, it's a single socket with dual core. Um, technical terms, but these are things that you're going to get thrown at you if you're managing hardware assets or managing power-based licensing. Thank <laughs> you.